Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a Shippo tutorial for beginners. Now, this video will have everything you need to get started on the step-by-step -step process or guide to streamlining your shipping process using Shippo. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the main dashboard of Shippo. And before you can get started, you'll of course need an account with Shippo. So just head to their website here. Just type in Shippo and it should appear on the results list of Google. And then just uh, check out their uh, website right here. And as you can see, you have a bunch of info already presented and you can already log in if you have an account or click on get started to start with a new account or maybe a free trial. So for example, if you want to try a free trial first before subscribing to a premium subscription, then feel free to do that. So if you click on get started, you'll see this page right here. So you just need to fill in the details. So of course, your name, email, password, and anticipated shipping needs. So you have here an estimated shipping needs for your business. So just uh, indicate that. And then just follow the prompts into signing up. You can also check their other info here for app, partners, resources, pricing, API. You can also contact the sales team if needed right there. So... Just feel free to check that out. Now, upon signing up, you'll need to set up your profile and shipping address. So after logging in, you need to complete your business profile by adding your company name, default shipping address, and contact details. This information will be used as the default origin address for shipments. Now, what is Shippo? Basically, Shippo is a popular shipping API and platform that helps businesses handle shipping tasks like creating shipping labels, tracking packages, and comparing carrier rates. Now, Shippo offers an easy-to-use interface and API, making it a great choice for e-commerce and business managing logistics. So here, we have the orders board, and we have one set already. This is actually uh, a result of our signing up a while ago so i signed up for a, a free trial account and this is uh, a saved recipient so we have here the address the items no items to show so it hasn't been fully edited yet and as you can see it says there's one order has missing information let's try to check the shipments uh dashboard so zero search result it's very straightforward actually you can see but uh, let's try to create a label to get a grasp on how it works so just click on create a label and we have here the default address or the default uh, business info of our uh, shippo account as you can see i'm using it as a return address as well so if there are any uh, shipments that needs to be returned then uh, it will be dropped off to uh, this address. So for recipient info, we just need to fill in the details or we can search for a saved recipient. So for example, if we're adding a new one, then clicking on save recipient address makes our lives easier because it automatically saves the info that we added here. So let's try adding an, a contact info. Let's say Stephen, then from Stephen Co., something like that. I'm just gonna falsify some info here. Just for example, uh, we have this uh, customer or recipient, and let's say these are their details. And just random number. Okay, so for the address, let's say
All right, so we have the street name and then populated this. This is a residential residential address. Okay, so we have those details. Now we're going to move forward to the next step. So we have the recipient info right here. And it's, uh, as you can see, it's already going to be saved as a recipient address. To basically, it's like a contacts contacts list. So this recipient address cannot be validated. Use the suggested address to avoid issues with your shipment. So again, be mindful of this as uh, sometimes this can happen. So just try to be as accurate as you can when actually inputting a recipient's address. So make sure all the details are correct. Let's try to check the difference here. Two block street, five, two block five street. All right, so basically it just uh, omitted some details like the north part and the 178 and as well as the postal code. We're going to click on continue anyway. All right, so we have a newly saved recipient address and here we have our order details. So we can actually uh, carry on with our order details. And then we can just uh, add the info we need here. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that when you're uh, actually setting up your account or signing up for the account on the first few parts, you can actually import uh, files or import shipment details, order details from an existing online store. If you have one like say Shopify or any other platforms, you can uh, do so. You can also import from CSV. So just to be, uh, just to give you the heads up, here is basically a manual method of doing things. So just add the item to order, then put on the description here, and then the amount or quantity, unit weight, unit value, country of origin, and if there is an SKU available, then click add. You can add signature here. Common reasons a signature could be required upon delivery is to ensure specific items like laptops. A signature is required to ship some regulated items like alcohol. A signature is required from a legal adult. Additional security requiring a signature. Confirmation can give peace of mind. So if you uh, toggle require a signature for delivery, anyone can sign or an, an adult must sign. There's an additional cost. This cost comes from the carrier and will be included in your selected rate. So just to uh, give you some info on that. Then the rates here, rates are unavailable. Fix the following to get rates, package info. Okay. So this will be auto populated as soon as you have the package info and the package weight required. So for the package, rates are calculated based on package dimensions and weight as uh, stated here. All right, so you can either uh, set it to carrier provided parcels. So let's say on uh, FedEx, they have this uh, specified dimensions there's also the flat rate uh for this postal service express service i believe and then we have here another uh custom dimension so you can either choose that or you can enter a custom dimension for yourself so just input the details here if you're putting a custom dimension the package weight and then specify what you need to specify for the product. And then click on save. And then here you have the recipient details and the sender details. So once that's done, you just click on buy. And then that, that will be registered as your uh, order detail or for the shipment. Basically, that's how you uh, edit your order details. And then... Once that's done, you will see the order details be registered in this uh, dashboard right here. And as you can see, the saved recipient now reflects on our orders uh, dashboard. So you can freely check it out here. Let's view the order. Yep, right there. So you can, again, freely edit it whenever you want to and if you need to make adjustments. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.